question after the previous gate examination. So this question has been asked from the subject industrial engineering and the name of the chapter is queuing theory. So this question has been asked in the year gate 2018. So let's have a look at the question. The arrival of the customers over fixed time intervals in a bank follows a Poison distribution with an average of 30 customers an hour. The probability that the time between successive customer arrivals is between 1 minute and 3 minute is dash. So it is a numerical answer type question. So they are asking us to find the answer correct to the two decimals. That means after point you have to write correct answer up to the two decimals. Okay. So it is a simple question. So let's write the given data. So they are saying that arrival of the customers is following Poisson distribution. Okay. <coughs> so whenever we talk about queuing theory, so arrival rate will be following Poisson distribution and the service rate will be following exponential distribution. So they are saying that arrival rate is following Poisson distribution, which is correct. And they are saying it is 30 per hour. So generally we represent arrival rate as lambda, which is equal to 30 per hour hour. So they are given in terms of hours. Okay. So lambda value or arrival rate or you can say it is mean arrival rate as 30 per hour. Okay. Now they are asking us to find the probability that, that the time period between successive customer arrivals is between 1 minute and 3 minutes. So now what is the meaning of this? So they are asking us the probability uh, between the successive, uh, successive arrivals is between 1 minute and 3 minutes. Now say for example, say uh, a customer is entering the queue. Okay. So after entering the queue, so a, a person is entering the queue. So say this is some server. So a person is entering the queue. So after this, again, one more person will be entering the queue. Right. So now they are asking us the probability to find so what will be the probability that after this customer has entered the queue, so after one minute, again, second customer has to enter the queue. Okay. So that is one probability. So they are saying between one minute and three minutes. Okay. Now what will be the probability that the second customer will enter after one minute or after two minutes or after three minutes. Okay. So that is what the meaning. So what is the probability? that the time period between successive customer arrivals is between 1 minute and 3 minutes. So the time period between these two should be 1 minute to 3 minutes. Okay. So after the first customer enters the queue, so the time period between the second customer and the first customer should be between 1 minute to 3 minutes. Okay. Now the time gap between these two customers may be 1 minute or maybe 2 minutes or maybe three minutes. Okay. So now what is the probability for this case? They are asking in the question. Okay. So for this, they are saying that arrival rate. So this is the arrival rate, right? So this is arrival rate. So they are saying this arrival rate is following Poisson's distribution. Okay. So this arrival rate is following Poisson's distribution. Now in Poisson's distribution, we are having one equation which is P of x is equal to x is equal to e power minus lambda lambda power r divided by or we can say lambda power x. Divided by x factorial. Okay. So now Poisson's distribution is a discrete distribution or a random distribution. Okay. So in this we are having this equation P of x is equal to x equal to e power minus lambda into lambda power x divided by x factorial. Now what is the lambda? So lambda in this is mean of the events or we can say mean number of events. So we can say mean number of events in a given time period. So lambda here in the Poisson distribution is mean number of events in a given time period. So this is the mean number of events. So 
So capital X is given as number of events in a given time period. So lambda value is the mean number of events and X value is the number of events in a given time period. Okay. So now in the question they are saying that it should be between 1 minute to 3 minutes, right? So they are saying that after 1 minute a customer should enter, maybe after 2 minutes a customer should enter or maybe after 3 minutes a customer should enter. Now these are the events, okay? So now x will be equal to maybe 1, maybe 2 or maybe 3 customers, okay? And this will be mean number of events in a given time period which is given as 30 per hour, okay? So they have given between 1 minute and 3 minutes. Now this is having a units of hours, okay? So convert this also into minutes. So this will become 30 by 60 which is 0.5 per minute. Okay. So now we have to find the property of x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 2 plus probability of x is equal to 3. So they have given in the question. So it should be between 1 minute to 3 minutes. So that's why we have taken x equal to 1, 2 and so we are having the equation e power minus lambda, lambda for x by x factorial. So e power minus lambda will be 0.5 into lambda power 1 divided by 1 factorial plus e power minus 0.5 into 0.5 square divided by 2 factorial plus e power minus 0.5 into 0.5 whole cube divided by 3 factorial. Okay. So, if you calculate this value, you will approximately get 0 0.39. Okay. So, it is a numerical answer type question. So, now the answer for this particular question is 0 0.39. So, they are asking us to find up to two decimals, right? So, the correct answer will be 0 0.39. Thank you.